Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi and for today, we'll be looking at a drawing that I'm actually preparing um, and actually answering a question that one of my followers asked, right? So the question was, how do, how do I um, prepare a drawing so that the heat or the, um, the tropical environment is, is, is mitigated, basically? Right, so the person asked, um, "How do I get the building to become cooler by just by doing certain things during the design stage?" Right, so that's what I will be showing you guys in this video today. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, I want you to hit the like, hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see more videos just like this one, alright? For an associate of mine, right? Um, a very close friend, I know him for a couple of years. So, it, it's a two bedroom Matalan home in Portmore and uh, it's very small, small rooms as you can see here. There's a bedroom at the front, bedroom behind that, and then a bathroom at the back. And this is a living, dining, and kitchen in one. But it's really a cramped space. It's small. Um, doesn't really. It's kind of hot. It's very hot, right? So um, the issue that I had to mitigate in this situation is the size of the space. Because it's it feels very small that's one and two the heat because portmore is a very hot place right so i wanted to ensure that the design attacked these um circumstances right so let me show you the design that i did so this is what i ended up having right so this is my i utilized my sketch pen um this and i drew on the the, the, the floor plan itself right so I'm gonna leave the description below up for this right or the link to this all right so I entered on onto the property into a carport so I created a carport a designated parking area so as you see here there wasn't really one before it was just an open space and you know well actually the front boundary wall was not there at all so i decided to you know put up a boundary wall a proper boundary wall and then and then design this space right so let's go back to my drawing so this is the the carport area now there's no tree on the property at the moment so i want him to plant a tree um, in the front yard space and i want him to, to plant um, smaller trees shrubs and stuff like that around so that you know that helps to reduce the heat within the space right so let's look at the building right so he had one small bedroom here I expanded that bedroom going this direction and that direction right so this is now a nicely sized master bedroom right so I enter onto a veranda space and then you know i go into a living space and then into that master bedroom that's the number one thing that he had a concern with he was saying that he's kind of claustrophobic so he wanted me to address that first and foremost right so i broke i broke the entry area because as it is now you walk from outside and you enter into the living and dining space i didn't want that i wanted a little veranda right i wanted a nicely you know little walkway that you can traverse to get to the veranda space and then he goes into the living space right um, um, so yeah so this is the living space and I designated uh, the, this wall because it is a shared wall this is a property there's a building over on this side so this wall would where he would have his entertainment um, set right and then what I did was I wanted 
this area to be to take off the the sunlight off the, the, the this wall here so that it reduces the heat as much as possible all right so as I entered into the space I extended this kitchen so the living dining and, and kitchen space was all in, crammed into this which was very small um, not very functional either so what I did was I expanded this kitchen down here so I demolished this wall I'm gonna put up a beam above this just to catch back the slab above so that um, I don't tamper with it too much right so <clears throat> this now becomes his kitchen and he has a little island here it's a small building but I want it to be functional again right so this entire bedroom now he was complaining that he doesn't doesn't have closet space in the existing because as you can see here there isn't much going on it's really it's basic it's just bare minimum right so I decided that I wanted to give him this entire bedroom split it in two so that he has a bathroom and a closet and a closet space right so he enters into the into a walk-in closet and then he takes a uh, where well, it's a left turn to go into his bathroom right and and this too is a, is a method that I am using to actually cool down the building because as you can see here and this wall I have plants right so to take the direct sunlight off of the face of the, 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 this wall same thing goes for this bedroom I'm utilizing a trellis system here to cast shadow on this wall so that once the sun because I, I did a sun path here a sun path goes out, out, across like that so this wall will have um, direct sunlight so from about this position it's high in the sky and to about here then it starts to get low there's a building over here so as it, it, as it goes down then this building will pass some amount of shadow but this wall will be getting a lot of sunlight throughout the day, right? Um, Vanessa, can you close that window for me? <coughs> um, so yeah, this, this wall will be getting a lot of sunlight, right? So I decided that I wanted a trellis here to really... No, it's not that one, it's this one. It's this one, right? So, um, I wanted to have a trellis here to really cast shadows and to reduce the amount of direct sunlight that's on this wall, right? Um, so this is the this is the master master bathroom. So this master bathroom is here. This is the closet. You enter and you go into this space, right? All right. So as you enter deeper into the building now, and you go past this kitchen, right? We enter into a bar. Uh, where does it? Uh, Mm, workspace right um, I we'll have a bathroom here and I have him going into a bedroom here now here is what where it became interesting for me I realized that I have a an opportunity to put a window here and for to vent the room going across like this so as the cool air comes in and these windows are high Right? they're like they start at two feet off the ground and then they go up all the way up right um, so this window is very big so that the, the air passes across the body that, that's the aim of, of the of the design because once you're trying to get the body to be cooler you have to be passing air up across the body so that it swaps out that, that, that heat right um, so yeah he has a closet in here and he so once once he have air coming in then you know he's pushing the hot air out in this direction right I did I did add a back veranda as well because it doesn't have that at the moment right so that's the back veranda here and then I'll do some amount of you know landscaping around here but these landscaping is very important this and these at the front right these are very important because I want those to help to cool the building. Now, ultimately, I decided that I wanted to add something to ensure that the building <coughs> is cool. Now, it, for this, this is a large surface area of concrete. 
Now concrete absorbs heat during the day and it and it releases it during the night. So during the day all of this concrete is absorbing that heat that thermal energy and then within the night now it's going to release it but it's not going to release it outside it's going to release it on the inside of the building right so what i decided to do is that i'm going to add a layer of foam on top of the roof right i'm going to add a layer of so this is the concrete slab this is a layer of foam that i'm going to add and then i'm going to plaster over that foam with a layer of of concrete right so concrete foam concrete right so it, I'm create, creating a, a, a barrier between the sun light coming in the heat and the actual slab itself now if it, it's easier to remove heat from something if you don't allow it to go into it at all it's harder to take it out of it right so that's the the whole aim. I don't want it to absorb that heat any at all, right? So that's why I'm putting a layer of foam to create that barrier, and then it will it will be easier to cool down the building. Now, mark you, it's going to, the, the the building is going to get heat, you know, because all around it is hot. But I'm reducing that amount of heat because the, the maximum amount of heat that it would um, absorb because I have a layer of foam foam there to really um, let us say mitigate the amount of heat that is being absorbed by the concrete so that's that's the ultimate thing that I wanted to do for this I'm I'm also considering having sorry I'm also considering having this wall have a layer of foam on it um, it's something that I'm thinking about I'm not so sure yet what I want to do but I feel like all of this that I'm doing now will help um, if it is that I see where it will still be hot um, after I do a sun study because I can do a sun study within the, the drawing the program that I'm using then I can add heat add um, a layer of foam on this wall right so let me just show you now what it is looking like right so this is the building in the program that I use so far no i am i'm not finished but that's what it is looking like so far so as you can see i added i added these large windows you know floor to ceiling type and then i added a layer of foam on top of the roof to really reduce the amount of heat that this slab absorbs and this is the way that you can actually this is the way that you can actually prevent or reduce the amount of heat that a slab um, absorbs and it, it helps in many ways because once you're you're now trying to cool down you're going to use more electricity right because you know using your fan or you're using your AC and that will increase your energy usage so by doing this these simple little things um, it will help to save money in the long run Right? So these are the type, these are the type of things that um, I do once I am doing a, a drawing for somebody um, that will help to improve the overall living condition of the person. Right? So I hope that this answers the person's question. Um, what are the ways that I could possibly design a building to help reduce the heat or reduce you know, heat absorption? into the building and ultimately make the building cooler so this is one way that i can i can do that all right so thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for sharing hit the subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you next time